Hello, everybody. Welcome to Prayer of Faith, AZ. I am Brother Edwin. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It is time for Bible in a Year. Um, praise the Lord. We're reading, going to be reading 1 Samuel chapter 28 through 31. That will be ending first book of Samuel. And we'll also be reading Psalms 18. Um, again, sorry this morning about the prayer. We couldn't get the camera to work. So now it's working. So praise the Lord. Um, praise the Lord. Let us start out with prayer. Lord God Almighty, we thank you for your word. Lord, let us take your word and put it in our heart. To give us understanding as we read your word. Give us understanding. You read along with us, the Lord. Teach us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our God is an awesome God. Let us get started. Praise the Lord. 1 Samuel chapter 28. Saw and the medium and uh, saw and the medium of Endor. And it came to pass in those days that the Philistines gathered their armies together for warfare to fight with Israel. And Achish, Achish said unto David, Know thou as surely that thou art go out with me to battle that thou, thou and thy men and david said to ikish surely thou shalt know what thy servant can do and ikish said to david therefore will i make thee keeper of mine head forever now samuel was dead and all israel had lamented him and buried him in Lama even in his own city. And Saul had put away those that had familiar spirits and the wizards out of the land. And the Philistines gathered themselves together and came and pitched in Shechem, she, sorry, she, Shanim. And Saul gathered all Israel together and they pitched in Ge Gebor. And when Saul saw the host of the Philistines, he was afraid, and his heart greatly troubled. And when Saul inquired of the Lord, the Lord answered him not, neither by dream nor by Yerim, nor by prophets. Then said Saul to his servants, Seek me a woman that hath a familiar spirit, that I may go to her. And inquire of her and his servant said to him behold there is a woman that hath a familiar spirit at Endor and saw disguised him disguised himself and put on other raiments and he went and two men with him and they came to the woman by night and he said I pray thee divine unto me by a familiar spirit and bring me him up and, and bring me him up whom I shall name unto thee. And the woman said unto him, Behold, thou knowest that Saul hath done, done how he hath cut off those that have familiar spirits and the wizards out of the land. Wherefore then layest thou a snare for my life to cause me to die? And Saul swore to her by the Lord, saying, As the Lord liveth, there shall no pin, punishment, punishment happen to thee for this thing. Then said the woman, whom shall I bring up unto thee? And he said, Bring me up Samuel. And when the woman saw Samuel, she cried with a loud voice, and the woman spake 
to Saul, saying, Why hast thou deceived me? For thou art Saul. And the king said unto her, Be not afraid, for what, what swearest thou? And the woman said unto Saul, I saw God ascending up to up out of the earth. And he said unto her, What form is is he of? And she said, An old man cometh up, and he is covered with a mantle. And Saul perceived that it was Samuel. And he stopped with and he stopped with his face to the ground and bowed himself. And Samuel said to Saul, Why hast thou disquieted me to bring me up? And Saul answered, I am so sore distressed, for the Philistines make war against me, and God is departed from me and answers me no more neither my prophets nor by dream. Therefore I have called thee, that thou mayest make known unto me what I should do. Then said Samuel, Wherefore then dost thou act of me, ask of me, seeing the Lord is departed from thee, and is be become thine enemy? And the Lord hath done to him as he spake by me. For the Lord hath rent the kingdom out of thine hand and give it to thy neighbor, even to David. Because thou obeyest not the voice of the Lord, nor execute, executed his fierce wrath upon Emelech. Amalek. Therefore the Lord done this thing unto thee this day. Moreover, the Lord will also deliver Israel with thee into the hand of the Philistines. And tomorrow shalt thou and thy sons be with me. For with me the Lord also shall deliver the host of Israel into the hands of the Philistines. Then Saul fell straightway all along on the earth and was sore afraid because of the words of Samuel. And there was no strength in him, for he had eaten no bread all day, nor all the night. And the woman came unto Saul, and Saul that he was sore troubled, and said unto him, Behold, thine handmaiden hath obeyed thy voice, and I have put my life in my hand, and have hearkened unto the words which thou spakest unto me. Now therefore I pray thee, hearken thou also unto the voice of thy handmaiden, and let me set a morsel of bread before thee, and eat, thou mayest have strength when thou goest on thy way. But he refused and said, I will not eat. But his servant, together with the woman, compelled him, and he hearkened unto their voice. voice. So he arose from the earth and sat up, and sat, sat upon the bed. And the woman had a fat calf in the house, and she hasted and killed it, and took flock, flour, and kneed it, and did bake unleavened bread thereof. And she brought it before Saul, and before his servants, and they did eat. Then they arose up and went away that night. For Samuel 29, the Philistines reject David. 
Now the Philistines gathered together all their armies to Aphek. And the Israelites pitched by the fountain which is in Israel. And the Lord of the Philistines passed, and the lords of the Philistines passed on by hundreds and by thousands. But David and his men passed on in their reward with Echish. Then said the princes of the Philistines, What do these Hebrews hear? And Echish said unto the princes of the Philistines, Is not this David the servant of Saul, the king of Israel, which hath been with me these days? Are these year days or these years, and I have found no fault in him since he fell unto me unto this day? And the princes of the Philistines were wrath with him. And the princes of the Philistines said unto him, Make this fellow return, that he may go against again to his place, which thou hast appointed him, and let him not go down with us to battle, lest, lest in the battle he be an adversary to us. For wherewith shall he re re rekindle himself unto his master? Should it not be with the head of this man? These men, sorry. Is not this David of whom they sang one to another in dance, saying, Saul slew his thousands and David his ten thousand? Then Echish called David and said unto him, Surely as the Lord liveth, thou hast been upright, and thy going out, and thy coming in with me, and the host in the host is good in my sight. For I have not found evil in thee since the day of thy coming unto me unto this day. Nevertheless, the Lord's favor be not. Wherefore now return and go in peace, that thou displease not the lords of the Philistines. And David said to Ichish, but what have I done, and what hast thou found in thy servant, so long as I have been with thee unto this day, that I may not go fight against the enemies of my lord the king? And Echish answered and said to David, I know that thou art good in my sight, as an angel of God. Notwithstanding, the princes of the Philistines have said, He shall not go up with us to the battle. Wherefore now rise up early in the morning with thy master's servants that are come with thee. And as soon as ye be up early in the morning and have light, depart. So David and his men rose up early to depart in the morning to return into the land of the Philistines and the Philistines went up to Israel first Samuel chapter 30 David's wives were captured and it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south, and Zeklag, and, and Zeklag, and smitted Zeklag, and burned it with fire, and had taken the women captive that were within. They slew not any, either great or small, but carried them away, and went on their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burned with fire, and their wives and their sons 
and their daughters were taken captive. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. And David's two wives were taken captive, Ahanam and uh, the Zizreelites and Abigail, the wife of Nabal, the Carmelite. And David was greatly distressed, for the people spake of stoning him, because the soul of all the people were greed, every man of his son and of his daughter. But David encouraged him, himself and the Lord his God. And David said to Ab Abathar, the priest, and him, him, Alex, Alex, son, I pray thee, bring me hither the ephod. And Abathar brought thither the ephod to David. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without folly recover all. So David went, he and his six hundred men with, that were with him, and came to the brook Bezir, Bezor, where those that were left behind stayed. But David pursued, pursued he and four hundred men, for two hundred abide behind, which were so faint that they could not go over the brook Bazor. And they found an Egyptian in the field, and brought him to David, and gave him bread, and he did eat. And they made him drink water, and they gave him a piece of cake, of cake of figs and two clusters of raisins. And when he had eaten, his spirit came again to him, and he, for he had eaten no bread nor drink any water three days and three nights. And David said unto him, To whom belongest thou, and whence art thou? And he said, I am a young man of Egypt, servant to an Amalekite, and my master left me, because three days ago I fell sick. We made an invasion upon the south of the of the Cherethites, and upon the coast which belongeth to Judah, and upon the south of Caleb, and we're burning. And we burned Zeklag with fire. And David said to him, Canest thou bring me down to this company? And he said, Swear unto me by God that thou wilt n neither kill me nor deliver me into the hand of my master, and I will bring thee down to, the co to this company. David defeats the Amalekites. And when he had brought him down, behold, they were spread abroad upon all the earth, eating and drinking and dancing because of all the great spoil that they had taken out of the land of the Philistines and out of the land of Judah. And David smote them from the twenty oh, he eleven twilight even unto the even of the next day, and there escaped not a man of them, save four hundred young men which rode upon camels and fled. And David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away, and David rescued his two wives. And there 
and there was nothing lacking to them, neither small nor great, neither sons nor daughters, neither spoil nor anything that they had taken to them. David recovered all. And David took all the flocks and the herds which they drove before those others cattle and said, This is David's spoil. And David came to the 200 men which were so faint that they could, could not follow David, whom they had made also to obey, abide at the brook Be Be Bezor. And they went forth to meet David and to meet the people that were with him. And when David came near to the people, he saluted them. Then answered all the wicked men and men of Belial, of those that went with David and said, because they went not with us, we will not give them aught of the spoils that we have received, save to every man his wife and his children, that they may lead them away and depart. Then said David, Ye shall not do so, my brethren, with that which the Lord hath given us, who hath preserved us and delivered the company that came against us into our hands. For who will hearken unto you in this matter? But as his part is that goeth down to the battle, so also his part that tarreth by the stuff, they shall part also. <clears throat> And it was so from that day for, forward that he made it a statute and an and, uh, ordinance, ordinance for Israel unto this day. And when, and when David came to Zeklog, he sent off, off the spoil unto the elders of Judah, even to his friends, saying, Behold, a present for you of the spoils of the enemy of the Lord, to them which were in Bethel, and to them which were in the south Ramath, and to them which were in, in Gedair, Gedair, and to them which were in Eror, and to them which were in Sith Amath, and to them which were in Ishtamal, Ish Ish and to them which were to Richal, and to them which in the city of the Jeruhamites, and to them which were in the city of Kedit. Can it, can it, it connects, and to them which were in Hamar, and to them which were in Chorashan, Chorashan, and to them which were in Ethak, and to them which were in Hebron, and to all the places where David himself and his men were wrought to hunt. For Samuel 31, the death of Saul. Now the Philistines fought against Israel, and the men of Israel fled from before the Philistines and fell down slain in Mount Gilboa. And the Philistines and the Philistines followed hard upon Saul and upon his sons, and the Philistines slew Jonathan and Abinadab, Abinadab, and Mel, Melchish, ah, Saul's sons. And the battle went sore against Saul, and the archers hit, 
and the archers hit him, and he he was sore wounded in the of the archers. Then said Saul unto his armor bearer, Draw thy sword and thrust me through thither with these these uncircumcised come and thrust me through and abuse me. But his armor bearer would not, for he was sore afraid. Therefore Saul said therefore Saul took his sword and fell up on it. And when he and when his armor bearer saw that Saul was dead, he fell likewise upon his sword and died with him. So Saul died and his three sons and his armor bearer and all his men that same day together. When the men of Israel that were on the other side of the valley and they that were on the other side Jordan saw that the men of Israel fled and that Saul and his sons were dead. They forsook the cities and fled and the Philistines came and dwelt in them. And it came to pass on the morrow when the Philistines came to strip the slain that they found Saul and his three sons in Mount Gilbo, Gilboa. And they cut off his head and stripped off his armor and sent into the land of the Philistines around about and published it in the house of their idols and amongst the people. And they put his armor in the house of Ashtaroth and they fastened his body to the wall of Bethshan. And when the inhabitants of Gabesh Gilead heard of that which the Philistine had done to Saul, and all the island men arose and went all night and took the body of Saul and the body of his sons from the wall of Bethshan and came to Gabish and buried them there. And they took their bones and buried them under a tree at Gabish and fastened and fast seven days. And now Psalms 18. Psalms 18. The Lord is my rock and my fortress. To the chief magician, a psalm of David, the servant of the Lord, who spake unto the Lord the words of this song, in the day that the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. And he said, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my bullock and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. The sore of death compassed me and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compass me about. The snares of death prevent, perverse me. I get the thing to work. There we go. Six. In my distress, I call upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even unto his ear. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundation also of the hills moved and where snares and were shaken because of because he was wrath. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth, devouring 
coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down, and darkness was under his feet. He rode upon a cherub and did fly. Yea, he did fly upon the wings of the, wi of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. His pa pavilion around about him was dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. At the brightness of his that sorry at the brightness that was before him his thick cloud passed hailstones and coals of fire the lord also thundered in the heavens and the highest gave his voice hailstones and coals of fire yea he sent out his arrow and scattered them and he sh shot out lightning and did discovered them. Then the then the town and the foundations of the world were discovered at at thy rebuke, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of thy nostrils. He set from above, he took me he drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. They perceived me, they pursued me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place he delivered me because he delighted in me the lord reward me according to my righteousness according to the cleanness of my hands hath he recompensed me for i have kept the ways of the lord and have not wickedly departed from my god for all his judgments were before me and I did not put away his statutes from me. I have also uprote, upright before him, and I kept myself from mine iniquity. Therefore he hath recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands, is his light, light sight, his eyesight by hand in his eyesight. With the, with the merciful thou wilt shall with the merciful thou shalt thou show thyself merciful. With the upright man thou wilt show thyself upright. With the pure thou wilt show thyself pure. And with a fraud, thou shalt show thyself fraud. Thyself, fro uh, sorry, forward. Sorry, that with the forward thou shalt show thyself forward. For thou wilt save the afflicted people, but wilt bring down the high looks. For thou wilt light my candle, and the Lord my God will enlighten my my darkness. For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my God have I slipped over a wall. As for God, he has a perfect, he, he, yeah. as for God, he, his way is perfect. The word of the, God, of the Lord is tried. He is the buckler to all those that trust in him for who is god save the lord and who is the rock save our god is it god that giveth me with strength yet girdeth me with strength and maketh my ways perfect he maketh my foot like hind's feet 
and sitteth me upon the high places. He teaches my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation, and thy right hand hath holden me up, and thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, thou that my feet did not slip. I have pursued mine enemies and overtaken them. Neither did I return again till they were con consumed. I have wounded them that they were not able to rise. They are fallen upon my feet. Uh, they fallen under my feet. For thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. Thou hast shut, subdued under me those that rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the neck of mine enemies that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. This did I beat them small as the dust before the wind. I did cast them out as the dirt in the street, streets. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people, and thou hast made me the head of the heathen, a people whom I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they heard of me, they shall obey me. The strength also submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall also submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places, closed places. The Lord liveth and blessed be the rock. And let the God of my salvation be exalted. It is God that avenges me and subdueth the people under me. He delivers me from mine enemies. Yea, thou lifted me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Therefore I will give thanks unto thee, O Lord, amongst the heathen, and sing praises unto thy name. Great deliverance giveth he to his king, and show mercy to his to his anointed, to David, and to his seed forevermore. Forevermore. Amen. Amen. That is the ending of our reading for today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us end with prayer. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, Lord, so much. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Let your word be put in our hearts that we may not sin against you. Thank you for the understanding. Thank you for showing us you on every page. We love you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us in today's Bible reading. Love you all. God bless you all. And remember, uh, wait a minute, i got one thing to check here. So give me just one second. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I just want to make sure. I just want to check one thing real quick. Sorry, everybody. Oops. Uh, okay, no. They're just saying amen and everything. Praise the Lord. Our God is good. Love you all. God bless you all. And remember, keep fighting for Jesus because he is fighting for you. God bless you and goodbye.